the new sticker book I bought and I saw it on Brianna's videos. She is the creator of Liberty Schoolhouse and I love to watch her videos. She has a lot of Planner Perfect ones and incorporates Coco Daisy and then a new, well, I guess not new, but new to me, one that she uses, company that she uses is Hand Can Plan and I love those stickers. So check her out on YouTube if you get a chance, Liberty Schoolhouse. Anyway, I got this idea from her. She showed this in one of her videos and it's a sticker book and I ordered it from Amazon. I have so many stickers and they're so out of control. These are just the ones I'm using this month. And I have started taking out the ones for the holidays. But see, some sheets are just, just have a few on them, but I don't want to throw them out. So it would be so nice to organize them in a booklet. If I put them in a sticker book, then I could consolidate them and it wouldn't seem like such a mess. So I'm wondering how each one will do on this. So let's see. There's that. And, oh, yeah, that comes up easy. It's almost like those things we had for the children, and I probably had them when I was younger. What do you call those things? Um, oh, my mind is blank. It's, it's the little plastic pictures that you... Color forms? Yeah, I think it's color forms that you pick up. That's what this feels like, color forms. All right, let's see how this lemon does. All right, that also comes up, so that's good. I can do use Coco Daisy stickers and Planner Perfect. Well, now I'm gonna have to get another whole book. Let's see if this one works. It would just be so much better to not have to dig through a pile every time. Seems to work. I'd hate to undo all these though and then have them lose their stickiness. So for now, I am going to just start sticking all of these on. And I think I will separate Coco Daisy from Planner Perfect, but I will keep all the seasons together. So I will speed it up and I'll talk to you afterward. Okay, I've done some. And I decided what I'm gonna do with these that are on the smaller little papers. I am going to keep these because I like to put them in here. I like to use these for my daily planning. So I'm just gonna keep these here and then after the month is over, I will incorporate them into my new sticker book. So that's where I'm at. a good therapeutic activity as well. I can see myself just playing with this sticker book, you know, rearranging them and things. It's just a lot of fun. So what I've decided to do with these little ones up here is I'm going to cut them out and have mini stickers. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Another thing I think I'm going to do is, I do like these footballs, although I am not a fan. I do like having a Super Bowl get together. So I'm gonna cut these out and save them for January because even though I don't like football, I like making a cake with the name of a team on it. I like making hors d'oeuvres and stuff to set out for football and have the game on, even though I'm not really paying attention. Oh, 
Okay, I went a little crazy. This is so much fun. I love putting stickers in this. This is a hobby within itself. I am. I think what I'm going to do when I get my new kits for the month of December, I'm gonna just put them directly in here and I'll just do that each month. And then I won't be so overwhelmed with stuff. But it's a good overwhelm, it's just fun. I wanna put everything in here. So what I'm thinking now, I did all my fall slash Thanksgiving and then holiday stickers. I'm thinking of putting in some tabs. So here's my leftover tabs from Coco Daisy, the small ones, and then I have all these large ones. There's so many. I know some people say that Coco Daisy, like too much comes in the kits and there's always extra but I always end up using it, even if it's a year or two later. Somehow, I don't know how, but they somehow always match the other kits. So I feel like I can always pull out my stuff from the year before or even two years before and use it with the current kit for that season. So I'm always using them and I always have plenty of tabs, as you can see. So I don't know which size would go better. I don't even know if it would stick on here. What I might do is use a blank sheet and then if it doesn't stick well, then I can just glue it on. Okay, so I did autumn and winter, and I realize I did them crooked. Oh well, I can always redo them. And I'm also thinking maybe I should have put the tabs on the first page, so that's what you see when you look through. I can put my new tabs that come with my December kits, I could put those in the front and have the first few pages the new ones. So let me just show you real quick, this is autumn. I did September-ish things, apples, not too, too folly. I love that. I have that in a charm. And plant, I mean leaves, all the leaves together. These are all the square planter perfect ones. Girls, the pumpkins. And then this is Coco Daisy. That was October, this is November. That's a lot of stickers. It's so funny, that one. I'm like, what is that? It looked like legs with, <laughs> with panties. And then I had to look, I had to do a double take. It's two hands holding coffee. But it looked like a very shapely woman wearing panties or a bikini. And I thought, what in the world is that doing on there? But alas, it is not. These two are actually die cut with a sticky back. So I just put those in here to see if they would stick. But it looks like the die cuts will go well in here. So if they stay, I'm gonna go ahead and put all my die cuts in here too because I hate rummaging through my die cuts every time I want to use them. I gotta spread them out, make a mess, and you can't really do it sitting on the couch. So I would much rather have them on the pages like this. All right, then we transition into Thanksgiving. And then we have winter. This is Planner Perfect. Planner Perfect. Planner Perfect. And then this is Coco Daisy. I don't have as much left from Coco Daisy because I don't think I was getting the same kits I'm getting now. And then these are Happy Planner. I never really use these because I don't like, I never get out my Happy Planner pad and go through it. So this way I'll use them. I love these, I love leaves. And then this, I've had this for like three or four years and I use it every year on at least one page. I just love the coziness of it. 
So that's what I have so far, and I am gonna love this sticker book, I can tell you what. Thank you for watching my little video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.